He packed a suitcase full of weapons and other dangerous items, boarded a plane in Japan, trying to make his way to Boston, but he was stopped at customs in Los Angeles. Question is, what if he made it through? Right now, Young Da Harris not talking to authorities. Fox 25's Crystal Haynes joining us live with more on this. What do you have, Crystal? Well, Maria, this guy was wearing a bulletproof vest and fireproof pants when he got caught at LAX traveling from Japan to Boston. Tonight you'll see what exactly was inside that suitcase, all of those weapons, and what his lawyer has to say about this case. He had a cache of weapons like you wouldn't believe. Everything from a smoke grenade to knives, leg irons to a gas mask. 28-year-old Boston native Young Na Huang Harris caught at LAX with a suitcase full of these items, raising lots of questions as to his motive and mental state. For answers, I spoke with Chris Williams in California, spokesman for Harris's attorney Stephen Seiden, who says Harris has pled the fifth on Seiden's advice, and he's not a felon, he has no criminal background, and he's not a terrorist. Harris has been charged with one count of transporting hazardous materials arraigned on Tuesday. And while officials and his lawyers don't believe Harris is linked to any terrorist organization, director for the Center of Security Research and Technologies at UMass Lowell, Dr. James Forrest, told us. It fits the profile of the kind of individual that several terrorist groups are trying to recruit. Several terrorist groups are trying to recruit individuals with high levels of education, with clean records, who can safely go through the security measures at airports and so forth uh, in order to test those measures to see what kind of profiling might be going on. Williams tells me Harris is highly educated and was planning on starting a graduate degree. He recently started living and working in Japan, but officials have not said in what field. His family here in Boston also not commenting on the case. It's alarming uh, in the sense that an individual could be testing the security procedures at an airport, trying to see what uh, could be gotten through the security measures, um, but it's also a, a, an unusual indication of someone's mindset. And I just got off the phone with Chris Williams, spokesman for Harris's attorney, and he says they've pled the fifth, so they're not going to talk motive until at least Harris's next court date this Friday. I'm Crystal Haynes, Fox 25 News. Crystal, thank you.